Good morning, everyone. Children, I have a plan to share with you. And that plan is to share or explain you fractions. Here we're going to learn the concept of how to subtract bigger fractions with smaller ones. Okay, so let's get started with the first question. Uh, since we're doing subtraction today, so let's learn something new here. Uh, I'm sure children, you are familiar, familiar with uh, your LCMs. All right, I have two whole numbers right now over here. You can see it. Uh, four whole minus two whole. All right, now when you see those two whole numbers, so, and there's a subtraction sign in the middle, so you're going to minus it up. You're going to subtract the whole numbers and you will be coming up with a uh, two here. All right, when you subtract the two whole numbers, you will have two here. Now, the LCM that you see here is 18. So, uh, all we are all now very much used to finding out LCMs. So, I'm sure nobody is having any problem finding out LCMs. So, see, 6 threes are is 18, all right. And, of course, so you're going to just write down 1 threes are 3. And we move on to the next uh, denominator and that is 9 all right 9 twoza is 18 so 3 twoza is going to give us 6 now when you come to the second step all right we are done with the first step the second step you can see 3 minus 6 now of course 3 minus 6 can you minus or can you subtract 6 from 3 no, not at all. I don't think. So there's a trick that I'm coming up with is pretty easy. And what do we, what will you do here is just going to, you're going to bring the 3 minus 6 down. All right. The same thing will be copied as it is. You have the whole number there and you have the denominator. What will you do here? The denominator is going to jump up. All right. What is your denominator here? 18 all right 18 will be uh we will be bring it bringing it up onto the numerator side and you will be adding up 18 plus 3 and the minute you will bring up 18 uh you're going to just cut off one number from your whole number all right since you have two here that two will become one why because your 18 has jumped up the denominator is there on on the numerator side and it's going to give us give us 21 so one whole 21 minus 6 when you subtract the two figures you will be coming up with 15 all right 15 will become your numerator and the denominator is 18 so what do you see here 15 upon 18 now what do you where do you find this 15 and 18 uh, these two numbers are common and three times table. So when you see your three times table and you just think of your three times table, you will uh, find out 15 three, uh, by just, just cutting it off or bringing it to the simplest form. 3 5 is 15 and 3 6 are 18. So that's the simplest form that you have brought your answer to. And your final answer will be one whole five upon six. So how was that? All right, let's come to the next question. Children, I have prepared the same type of question for you where you will be subtracting the whole numbers. All right. And then you will be getting six minus three will be giving you three. And you have got your LCM and your LCM is 18. So when you have multiplied the numerators, you will get 2 minus 8. Okay. So 2 minus 8, again, it's the same type of question. Uh, you cannot subtract 8 from 2. So you'll do the same thing here, bringing up the denominator and adding it up to the figures that you've brought down. 2 minus 8 that you've copied down. All right. Your whole number was 3. You will bring down the 3 as also. And then you will bring up your denominator. Or you can say your denominator will be jumping up to help the 2 minus 8, the figure there. So 
18 uh, the minute you will bring up the denominator you're going to cut off the whole number uh, and you will minus one number from the whole number since your whole number is three so it will become two right now so you will bring the two and then you'll add up the 18 plus two two it will give you 20 okay so 20 minus 8 will be giving you 12 so the answer is going to be 2 whole 12 upon 18 but 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 what do you see here 12 upon 18 uh, do you think it can be brought into the simplest form I, I guess yes I think I'm pretty sure I shouldn't be guessing it but I'm pretty sure that 12 and 18 can be simplified you can simplify it by two times also you can simplify it by three times table also so I'll take the shortest way possible and I'll be taking six times table all right so six times two is 12 and six times three is 18 so my final answer is going to be 2 whole 2 upon 3. Hope you have understood the second question as well. So have a good day and I would like my students to prepare these two questions and I'll be giving you two more, que two more questions like this and then we shall be discussing the answers. I'll be sharing the answers with you. Hope you all understood the two questions I explained it to you. So, for now, we are going to end up the class. And I have added up two questions, as I said earlier, along with the answers. And uh, we shall be discussing it in class tomorrow. All right. Have a nice day. Bye for now.